Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Welcome back to Denim Vixen. Today I am going to talk to you about something just a little different than I normally discuss here on my channel. This is going more towards the lifestyle side of my channel. And this is about traveling with small children on airplanes. I am a flight attendant. I've been flying for over 20 years for a major carrier and I have seen it all. I also have two children who I've been traveling with since they were babies and I have picked up a few um, ideas that work for me. I have seen people with certain ideas that also I have applied towards my personal traveling that have worked really well and I have seen some things that don't necessarily work very well. So I'm going to try to highlight a few helpful hints and tips to help alleviate some of the stress that you may feel when you're traveling with small children. Now my first tip if you are traveling with small children is try not to travel with them on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's not always the case, but I personally, I had my children a little later in life, and I have also been working in the travel industry for a long time, so a lot of my traveling, um, my traveling bug has kind of passed, but there are times when you just have to travel, whether it be for an emergency, whether it's just because you like to travel, or grandma really, really, really needs to see those darn kids. I always try to plan... I try to plan what I'm going to take. Now my husband a lot of times will either not go with me or he works up until the very last second before we have to go and um, throws three things in a suitcase and is ready to walk out the door. I on the other hand being the mom have to pack for myself, my children, um, I have to think about what they're going to do on the plane, I have to think about how I'm going to transport them to the plane, etc, etc. So there is a lot of planning and I always feel a little overwhelmed with it all. So I think if you can plan ahead, sit down, if you just have a couple minutes to sit down and write out what you think you're going to need before you start packing, that's always a really, really good tip. Start thinking about what you will need on the plane. Think about the snacks. Think about the toys. If you have small children, if you need diapers, you need wipes, think about your car seats and your strollers. Okay, that's a lot, right? But let's break it down to make it a little less um, overwhelming. Let's start with packing. Pack your items that you're going to check and pack your items that you're going to um, carry on. So as far as carry-on goes, this is my carry-on bag. This of course is my flight attendant bag. It's a 22 inch roller board. I know it fits under the seat because it's a regulation flight attendant bag. Each airline has different um, carry-on regulations. So definitely check with the airline that you're traveling with to make sure that your suitcase will be the right size to carry on. You're definitely going to need to carry on a bag if you have small children because you are going to need to be taking quite a few things with you to make your flight just a little easier, not only on yourself, but everyone around you as well. Now, once again, I'm a flight attendant. I love children. I will be very helpful to any mom who needs help or dad, anyone. But not all flight attendants feel this way, and you may have encountered a few. Some flight attendants feel like because they don't have children, they didn't have them because they didn't want them, and they don't want to help you with yours. So don't ever get on a flight and expect all flight attendants to be super nice and super helpful. Look for me <laughs> if you can. <laughs> I will help you. But um, yes, so try to be as self-sufficient as you possibly can because the more self-sufficient you are, the easier it is on just everyone. Now, in your carry-on bag, if you have small children, you're going to want to have your diapers. You're going to want to have wipes. You're going to want to have um, plastic bags. I highly, highly stress plastic bags, like plastic shopping bags, Target bags, grocery store bags, whatever. You're going to need these bags for dirty diapers clothes that have become soiled throughout the flight. Um, you can use them as small trash bags for the mini snack packages you might have. Um, just bring your bags. That way you don't have to try to flag a flight attendant down every single time you need to throw something away. When they come through with their, with their trash carts, you can just give them the bag full of everything that you have, except for perhaps the diapers. A lot of flight attendants will not accept soil diapers. You will just need to dispose of those in the restrooms when you can. Um, just a helpful hint. You'll also want to carry in your carry-on bag um, jammies, an extra change of clothes, not just for your child, but for you. I have been in situations where I've had a child explode on me in more ways than one. 
and I did not have a change of clothes and sure wish I had. And that change of clothes can be something simple. It could just be like t-shirt and shorts, t-shirt leggings. Hopefully it's just an emergency, but it will get you out of whatever it is that you can't maybe clean sufficiently. It's a good idea to carry bathing suits in your carry-on items. That's just in case you were to cancel or get, um, in my case, bumped off a flight and stuck in a city overnight where I need to go to a hotel. Um, my kids love to swim and most hotels have indoor swimming pools so it's a great way to end your evening. It also gets lots of energy out and helps your children sleep better. So a bathing suit is a great idea to just throw that in your carry-on. And then you're also going to want to have some basic essentials like their toothbrushes, um, toothpaste if your children require a kid's toothpaste. Like mine love the kid's toothpaste, they don't necessarily want mine so I'll throw that in there. And then um, medications. So. This is a little bag of essentials. As you know, security requires that you have the 311 rule. Who knows if this will change in the future, but as of right now, when I'm making this video, um, they're requiring that if you are carrying liquids on the plane, they need to be less than three ounces, or I should say three ounces or less, in a quart size bag. Um, and I want to say up to 11 ounces total in liquids. This. I think this is about 11 ounces. So it's the 311 rule, but always double check the TSA website because these regulations do tend to change from time to time. And it's always good to be just, you don't want to be surprised when you get to security. Um, if you do require medications for your children, I think it's always a good idea to have things like cough syrup or Tylenol for your children, or some people like to take Benadryl, I'm not going into that on this video, but take your essential medications with you. And if you do need medications, this um, usually does not apply to the 311 rule. As long as you show it to them, they will usually let um, all sizes go through security if it's medication. Yeah. Another thing I wanna discuss are car seats and strollers. Now, even though a lot of the airlines are charging baggage fees for checked luggage, they do not charge for you to check your car seats or your strollers. So that being said, I have done both. I have checked car seats and I have carried on car seats. And let me tell you, if I can check my car seat, I will do it in a heartbeat. It is so much easier. Um, what I used to do was, even though my children are older now, so I don't have to do this anymore, I would check my car seat and then I'd, I'd take my stroller and then I would gate check my stroller, which is um, usually required by most airlines to gate check, which is super easy because they just take your stroller right there at the gate, um, roll, take it down, check it, and then they bring it right back up at the end of your flight so it's waiting for you when you get off the airplane. So that is so super easy. You don't have to deal with trying to um, take it down the aisle of the plane because it won't fit. But, um, but as far as car seats go, if for some reason your car seat does get lost while it's being transported, when you get to your destination, you can just go over to the baggage claim customer service and explain to them that your car seat was lost. They can usually look it up and figure out where it is and they will have to loan you a car seat. They have tons and tons of loaners back in the um, baggage claim customer service area. And what they will do then is loan you a car seat till yours is located and then deliver your car seat. You will then do a swap at that point and you'll get your nice car seat back. And I will just say some of the car seats are not the most wonderful car seats, but they most certainly were doing a pinch and keep you from having to drag that extra stuff through the airport because honestly, you're gonna have enough to carry through the airport when you have children anyway. Do you really need to carry that big giant car seat? Now, as far as safety on the plane, I do find it's much safer to put your children in car seats. Actually, studies have proven that it is if there is some sort of a crash. Unfortunately, I don't want to talk about that, but it is something that um, we all do need to be prepared for. However, a lot of times the reasons why the car seats are safer for children is because of the five-point harness. Now, I actually purchased a CARES for Kids harness, which they're not super cheap, and if you do need to, um, or if you'd like to try one, a lot of times you can rent them. I've seen them for rent on eBay, or you can maybe find a used one, but they are neat little harnesses that just fit right onto the airplane seat and fit like a five-point harness. It's a really, really neat contraption. Whoever invented that was a genius. It weighs, I don't know, less than two pounds maybe. 
I'm not 100% sure, but I will try to find a picture of that and show it to you. I do not have mine anymore because I loaned it to a friend who has a small child because my children are bigger now. But Those are really, really neat, and they do keep you from having to carry that car seat through the airport, and they're super safe for um, air travel, probably safer than an actual um, lap belt. As far as entertainment on the airplane, definitely try to pack lots of entertainment for your children. <laughs> Once again, you might find that one flight attendant who does not want children, does not like children, and wish that you hadn't have brought yours. And then you might find that one that will put your child to work and the kids just think that's the greatest thing in the world. However, once again, self-sufficiency is key as far as making your life as a parent just a little more pleasant for that period of time that you're going to be on a plane with your children. So as far as kids go, I find... My kids are usually pretty happy if they've got one of these. An iPad, a tablet. We have iPads, tablets, Kindles. When they were smaller, I used to always carry one of those small DVD players with lots of DVDs. But now that technology has gotten better, you can pretty much load everything up on here. So that, number one, is a great form of entertainment for your children. So a lot of airlines have direct TV. It's worth the six bucks, seven bucks, eight bucks, whatever it costs it's worth it because they can watch kids movies, they can watch Disney Channel, they can they can just watch TV and honestly depending on if you're a TV family or not it doesn't bother me that my kids are watching TV for a couple hours on the plane keeping them. I always like for my kids to put together something that they can do on the plane if they get tired which is usually rare tired of their iPads or tired of the direct TV so I actually found these this is a rainbow loom knockoff. My kids have gone through rainbow looms, rainbow loom knockoffs. I found these yesterday at Joanne's Fabrics.